In this movie, we're going to have a look at the cursor tools, which you'll work with as you're doing your projects in Logic Pro. So in the main window here, these are your cursor tools. This is the main cursor tool, and this is a secondary cursor tool called the command click tool. For the cursor tools, there's a pop-up menu where you can choose the type of tool you need depending on the task you're doing. The pointer tool is one you'll probably use as one of your main tools uh, as you'll work with it a lot to do things like define points of playback, select things, including select things and then hold down shift to make selections of multiple things. With the pointer tool, you can deselect things just by clicking. You can grab something and move it. Or if you hold down option, you can grab something and make a copy of it. So it's a very handy tool. It's probably the one you'll use as a default tool and then change to different tools depending on what kinds of tasks you're doing. For example, there's a pencil tool. So here with the pencil tool, you can draw new things. In this case, because it's a software instrument track, I'm drawing new MIDI regions. And there's an eraser tool that you can use to erase things. There's a scissors tool which is handy, of course, for cutting up regions. And then there's a glue tool that you can use to glue those regions back together again. There's a zoom tool that lets you, of course, zoom in on various areas in your project. So here, if I click and drag, I can zoom in on this area of the main window. And when I'm done, I just click once and I zoom back out to that previous level. And that works on multiple levels. I'm going to click and drag to zoom in here and then click and drag to zoom in further. And then I'll just click once to move out one level and click again to go back to where I started. Some of these tools will come up later on as we get into audio and work with the fade tools and automation tools. The marquee tool is a good tool to know about. It's a very handy tool that does a number of different tasks for you. One of the things you can do with it is just by clicking in a region, you can define that as a point of playback. And you can also use this to make a selection so that Logic will play that selection. And once you've made a selection, you can go back to your pointer tool and just click on that and it will make a new region out of that selection. The command tools are the same tools, it's just another tool you can have access to. And the idea is that as you're working, you might be having, for example, the pointer tool as your main tool, but then if you hold down command on your computer keyboard, it switches to your command click tool, in this case, the marquee tool. So perhaps you have it set up as your eraser tool and you're doing some work. Here's the main tool, it's the pointer tool, and you decide you want to erase something, you can hold down Command, you get the Erase tool, and you can go ahead and erase it. You might find it very handy to gravitate towards setting yourself up with the pointer tool as your main tool and the marquee tool as your secondary tool. So for example, if I wanted to delete this section of this particular region, I can make that selection with the marquee tool then just click on it with the pointer tool and then go ahead and hit delete. So those are the cursor tools. It's where you find them and it's how you can set them up for both a main and a command click tool in Logic Pro.